What's up, LA gang? It's your girl, LA, and we back for another video, man. We back for another reaction, y'all. I've been trying to stay on these reaction videos just because, and I know y'all love them. So, um, we just gonna get straight into it. I don't really need much of an intro. Y'all know to subscribe, like, comment, and do all that type of stuff. Y'all know I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers by the end of this month. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. So, I feel like if you didn't know, you should subscribe. And if you did know, you fake for not subscribing already because I'm pretty sure you didn't watch my last 10 videos and I say it every time. I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers by the end of this month. I ain't trying to be aggressive. But I just feel like it's the right thing to do. You know? You gotta know the difference between right and wrong. Anyway. The reason I'm boxing YBN Namir. I don't know his name. But I know who it is. Um, I've been seeing their videos <clears throat> online of them arguing and stuff. So... We just gonna watch three, two, one, red. This video, but I just had to, cause I don't want y'all niggas to think I'm tripping. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a rundown from all the way from where this shit started. At. This is about what? Where is it? 2021. This was 2019. So this shit was going on for almost two years. This little, uh, little beef between me and bruh. So like two years ago, like November, December, November, one of them. Um. An incident end up like occurring like with some niggas I used to be cool with. Um, they end up doing something and um Namir end up like getting caught Namir. up in it somehow, like what they end up doing. So um after that shit had happened, um mind you, I ain't cool with the niggas no more that the incident had happened. Cause I I was being like, you know what I'm saying, like loyal to Namir, like I ain't gonna cap like when I and now that I think about it, I, I really shouldn't. An incident end up happening. And I end up paying thirty thousand, and I'm gonna end up paying ten uh, with the incident that happened. So a couple months go by after the incident. Uh, At this point, he might as well tell us what the incident was, <laughs> cause I'm tired of hearing after the incident, the incident, the incident. He might as well tell us what the incident, like, bro, what happened? At this point, now we want to know. That you paid thirty thousand dollars for, and he paid ten. Months ago, go by. Me and him ain't talk none of that. A nigga who I'm close with, that we both are close with, was like, "Hey, now Mir said you owe him ten thousand. That ten thousand he had That's to pay. Wrong. Mind you. I don't know you. Build your squad. Player one. I paid the thirty thousand for him. It ain't. I didn't give a fuck. At like at the end of the day, I really didn't care. Like. Hey, hey, wasn't nothing gonna happen to me when nobody gonna do nothing to me wasn't gonna be nothing like that. I did that for him. He called my phone while the incident was happening and was like, bro, they do, 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 like, bro, please, like, I need you to do this. Like, do, do, do. So I did, I swear to God, I put this on my kid, bro. So I did it. I, I paid the 30000 I don't even think he paid ten. I think Evan paid five and he paid five. I paid thirty. I paid thirty thousand cash, bro. Ain't none of this making sense. I'm about to see if I had a picture happened. still. All right, bam, look, look. This is the so day. At this point. So y'all know I ain't capping. December third, twenty nineteen. That's what it say. I told you it was twenty nineteen when it happened. Thirty thousand cash, bro. This is my hand. The same hand. This one. Thirty thousand cash. He must I be making paid a video towards people who to keep this nigga out of some shit. So well, somebody who we close with, like me and him, mutual friends, was like. Eventually, people would tell on themselves. So now we know that Namir was um, caught up in some shit. He called you to get him out of it, and you paid the money to get him out of it. That's all we really need to know. So. But the lo the more he keep talking, the more he gonna tell what really went on. Hey, not just watch, listen. Mayor say you owe him ten thousand. Like fuck, I owe him ten thousand for. Like nigga, I came out of my pocket thirty thousand dollars cash and shit. I ain't really give a fuck about. Like and I did it for him. Like nigga, I ain't even do it for me. Like like fuck, I owe him ten thousand for. He like yeah, I don't think you owe him ten, but shit, he talking about you owe him ten thousand or something. Mind you, my niggas. And his niggas was involved in this incident. But he's so scared of his homie. He's so scared of his homie. 
that he trying to throw it all on. Like, he, he, he want to believe his homie ain't have no involvement in it. So he's so scared. He and I'm not going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna keep stopping and putting my opinion on it here and there and stuff like that. But I'm just letting y'all know down that I'm not in like I'm not too invested because I don't know these people. So it's like whatever I do say, I'm just saying it just because I want to say it. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to agree to him. Like what he's saying makes sense because I feel like we didn't all seen that person who was scared of that big homie. Or like, you know what I'm saying, was doing shit just because somebody else told him to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm shaking my head. Now, I'm not going to get too involved, too invested because I don't, first of all, I don't know Namir's side. And then on top of that, I just don't know these people. So um, whatever I do say, I don't care. I'm just speaking from what sound like it's right and what sound like it's wrong. His homeboy, that he he just he just throwing his homie out the picture. He putting it all on me and my niggas. So That's I'm telling up. him. I told him like whatever. I'm like, hey, yeah, like, like nigga, yo, your boy has something to do with it too. Like I don't know if you like you scared of him or what, but like your nigga had something to do with it. He 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 had something to do with it. So <laughs> he, 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 like he. nigga, I'm not paying you ten thousand for some shit that my niggas and your niggas had some involvement in. My niggas met. My niggas met everything, the whole situation from your nigga. So your nigga the one that actually started the whole that happened. But I came out of my, I I, I still went out of my way. I paid thirty thousand cash, bro, for some shit that I didn't give a fuck about, bro, for him. And he paid five and Evan paid five. And this nigga telling me I owe him 10000 for that. So, some months go by. Some months go by. I ain't talked to him. Like, so I, I know, like, me and him ain't on the same page. So, I, I ain't been talking to him nothing like that. So, um, me and him had the same accountant. Me and him had the same accountant at this time. So, I end up firing her for this, just for this reason right here. Because I ain't like this shit. So, me and him had the same accountant. I end up getting, like, a big-ass check from, um... I started a pub deal with Ultram. I ended up getting a big ass check. So when the check came, it's a I'm, it's a big ass check. When the check came, she like, oh yeah, um, I just told Namir you got a check, and he said you owe him ten thousand. So I'm gonna send it out your account and send it to him. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, yeah. He said you owe him ten thousand. He let you borrow ten thousand. Mind you, Namir has never let me borrow no money. You never let me borrow nothing. Stop saying I owe you money. You never let me borrow shit. You went live with Tusi. I seen that. You went live with Tusi and you said I. If you only list your vacation <laughs> home on Airbnb, you might attract bro. someone looking for a quaint little studio. I remember, bro. Oh, you fired out. I remember some months back, they all said they was taking that YBN out in front of their name. Well, Corday did, because he, I think, shit, this probably what happened. And Corday said, I don't want nothing to do with that shit. Because Corday is not, well, I don't know him. But his image does not appear to be like these niggas. These niggas are dumb. Corday got him a little tennis wife. You know what I'm saying? Billionaires, living life, enjoying life. And these niggas is arguing over some money and shit. And big homies and small homies. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, I don't owe you nothing. You never gave me nothing. Arguing and I never borrowed nothing money. from you. Well, so what the fuck is you talking about? So nigga, she texted my phone and said, I, uh, now I'm going to say you owe him $10,000. I'm going to wire it out your account. Nigga, I said, no, I don't owe him 10000 And on two, you fired. Just for even, like, that <laughs> kind of shit is that. So, that go by. That go by. Now, it's a year later. To be in some shit. I still ain't <laughs> talked to him, whatever, whatever, whatever. It was fake shit going on. Like, it was fake like shit. Cause right we got thing. mutual friends. <laughs> Mind you, we got mutual <laughs> friends. So, any you of the fire. friends, like, who he see fucking you with fire. me, he'll stop fucking with him. And they'll come run to me and be like, yeah, like, bruh, cut me off because I fuck with you. And I'll be like... I, I be asking them like, is it real beef between me and him, or like, am I, I don't know, like I don't I don't know if it's real beef between me and him or not. I'm like, and I always say, bro, like I'm not finna beef with this nigga. Like, well, I look like beef with him. Like, I fuck with bro. Like, nigga, I wouldn't be like in the position I am in without bro. So like, no, I'm not finna finna beef with this nigga. Like, nigga, I got love for this nigga. So every time, like, even when like interviews come and shit, and, and I be vouching, like, yeah, I fuck with bro. Like, that's that's my that's my dog. Like, that's what I be saying and shit. Like, even though whole time I know me and him not seeing eye to eye, like, and I know me and him, like, really don't fuck with each other no more. Nigga, I still be lying to people and everything, saying, like, yeah, like, nigga, I'll fuck with bro. I just did an interview 
fucking a month ago and ain't came out yet. And I lied in the interview and said me and him fuck with each other and I fuck with him and that's but but we don't like whole time we don't. This something that y'all niggas don't know. Y'all 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 don't know because it was never put out there. It was swept under the rug and, and, and so kept under the rug. Mind you, bruh end up. I, I don't know. The nigga end up running off and joining. And I I don't know. They end up he ran off with some other niggas and y'all be seeing the shit that he do online. So he end up running off doing that. And and I just was seeing that shit. And I'm like, bro, that shit corny. Like nigga, I ain't even trying to be around nothing like that. Like that shit corny as fuck to me. We got the same managers and everything at the time we did. And like them niggas would be like, yeah, I don't know what got in him, bro. He tripping. He tripping. Like he tripping on everybody. Even his mama, like, nigga, I still was having conversations with his mama. And she would even tell me, like, he tripping. Like, I don't know what got in. If you're feeling sluggish, bloated around the waist, or even just plain backed up, and you're ready yeah, to I flush out it. that extra 5 to 20 pounds. To him, like, I his, know even his mama. So, months go by, months go by, months go by. It's December. It's his birthday. It's bro's birthday. So, Niggas was texting like, um, niggas had texted me like, yeah, we set up a surprise birthday party for Namir. Pop out, mind you, I haven't seen him in a year and a half, bro. Or damn near a year at this but time. I haven't seen him in a whole year. Bro. I ain't talked to him. I ain't did nothing like that. So I'm like, all right, man, I'm going to pull, pull up. I'm going to fuck with him. So I pull up. I get to the party and shit like 20, 30 minutes before he get there. Mind you, I come by myself. So I pull up. I see our old manager, Ace. Nigga, I see everybody there. Like, I dab everybody up. Like, what's up? Like, say what's up to everybody. So, he ain't there yet. Uh, I seen Glizzy. I seen everybody was there. Like, nigga, like, he ended up showing up. So, he showed up. He seen me. I seen him. He walked up to me. He shook my hand. I shook his. So, when he went live with me, it just said, oh, you came to my party. And I went in the other room. And it was about to be that. And niggas calmed me down. And niggas told you to leave. Bro, nobody told me to leave your party, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? Who told me to leave your party? Nobody told me to leave your party. I got tired and I got bored and I left. I'm like, man, fuck it, I'm about to go. Like, nigga, I got bored and left. Nigga, ain't nobody ain't tell me to leave himself. nothing. So all this fake ass gangster shit that you doing, bro, on the internet, bro. I don't know where that shit came from. Them niggas he hanging Not around. like that, bro. You went live and said you pop niggas. You don't pop niggas. You went live and said you whoop niggas. You don't whoop niggas. You went live and said niggas know how you get down. Nobody know how you get down. What the fuck is you talking about? And, and, and me and you personally, bro, like look look at me, bro. Like look at my face, bro. See, I wasn't even gonna make this video. Like I, I, I wasn't even gonna. Take it that far. Like, the reason why I end up posting the video, like, man, fuck it, set the boxing match up between me and our marriage, is because, for the fact, everybody kept asking, like, what's up with you and bro? Like, why I never see y'all together? Y'all niggas think we cool, but we not. Like, we not cool. Like, he feels the type of way about me, and I feel the type of way about him. And I know, like, niggas getting to it all the time, like, On Redfin, you can tour homes virtually with a 3D walkthrough. That's real estate done right. Brothers and shit getting to it That's all the time and shit get squashed and shit. But like, nigga, this incident was something that could not be resolved. Like, nigga, I went out of my way and tried to resolve it on several occasions. And it's something that could be, that could not be resolved on several occasions. So I end up just putting it out there like, look, like shit, me and you could box and we can settle our, our problems. Like, we could box in front of everybody. So for the niggas that be like, oh, you biting the hand that feeds you and this, this, and that. Y'all saying that because y'all don't know that it's previous shit that led up to this. I ain't just come out of nowhere and do this. I, I didn't, this ain't nothing that just out of nowhere. Like, it's shit that build up, build up, and build up to that. All I'm saying is, if I'm a box, let's put on the show for everybody. Let's, let's box for everybody. Like, you, you, you don't, you're not a boxer. I'm not a boxer. So, like, we could box. So, but it, it, this ain't, I, I just, this ain't nothing that niggas just came out of nowhere or did. Like, this some shit that led up to incidents that led to this. So, and like, just think, look what the nigga saying online. Like, he get online talking about something. Oh, when your chain got took, I ain't never got nothing took for me. Like, I ain't never got nothing took for me, this and that. When your chain got took, I was on Front Street for you. 
Bro, you was nowhere to be found, bro. What are you talking like? I'm literally trying to figure out what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> when, my, when them niggas jumped me and took my chamber, you was nowhere. You didn't do anything. I didn't even call. You're not the kind of nigga that I call if I want something to done to somebody, bro. I don't look at you like that kind of nigga, bro. Like, you, you're not that, bro. So stop acting like you that, bro. You're not that, bro. All I'm saying is, me and you can get in the ring. We can box. I ain't even want to put everybody in our business, but I feel like everybody had to be in the business so niggas couldn't say, oh, this nigga Jay Weir, he just coming out of nowhere trying to bite the hand, that fat hand, this, this, and that. I know niggas was going to say that. I knew niggas was going to say that. So I made this video to let niggas know, no, I'm not biting nothing that fed, nothing. Nigga, I'm letting y'all know it's shit that built up to this. I tried to resolve it on several occasions. It could never get resolved. He still felt some type of way and said this, this, and that to other people. And when he seen me, he, it, it wasn't nothing. Like, even our management. He shot a video with, he, we shot a video with Yo Gotti. He shot a video with Yo Gotti. The nigga we signed to was like, hey, now I'm gonna shoot a video with Gotti. Um, you should pull up. I was like, cool, I'm gonna pull up. I ain't talked to him in a minute, but I'm gonna pull up. I was like, tell him I'm on the way and see what he say. So he texted me back, he was like, nah, I don't think you should pull up. Um, he said he don't fuck with you. So I was like, all right, cool. I ain't never pull up. So it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing that's just something out of nowhere. Like, nigga, this shit built up into this. So I just felt like, let me come out and say, why, take for instance, why y'all think when he posted that picture of me and him when he dropped his album and he was like, oh, he want to make a song with me and this, this and that. Why y'all think I didn't respond to that shit, bro? That's fake. Like, that's some fake kicking and shit. Like, I'm not with that fake ass shit. Like, man, you ain't talking two years, bro. You dropped your album. Niggas went rocking with that shit for real. Now, all of a sudden, you posting a picture with me talking about you want to uh, make a song. I don't want to make a song with you, bro. I don't. That shit is fake, bro. Like, nigga, your family is like my family, bro. And for you to get on live talking about some nigga, anybody can get it. My mama, my sister. But you, boy, nigga, I hop out of bed and beat the fuck out of you, your uncle, your dad, your sister, your brother, your auntie, everybody. Your grandma can get it, too. Oh, not against the crib. So, um, all this little ring shit. And like, my little sister is motherfucking eight years old, bro. You just went on Instagram live and said my little sister can get it, bro. You just said my mama. I never open my mouth and say nothing bad about your mama. I look at your mama like my mama, bro. So for you to get on the internet and say like shit like that, bro, I'm gonna beat your ass, bro. So when Social Gloves set this boxing match up, bro, and me and you boxing, I, I want you I want you to remember it. You said something about my mama. You said something about my sister. You said something about my grandma. My aunt. You said that, bro. You said all that, bro. So when Social Gloves set this boxing match up between me and you, and you, you talking about my niggas this and that. Yo niggas is, can't get in the ring and help you. When Social Club set this boxing match up between me and you, I want you to remember all that shit you said about my mom. I'ma beat the fuck out your scrawny ass, nigga. Scrawny ass. Yo, these niggas are funny. You know, that was hella entertaining. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like Namir them met some different type of niggas and you know when you meet different type of people you start leaning towards that group of people because you know what i'm saying so that's what it sounded like he did you know what i'm saying and then when he started fucking with the new group of people he said all right jay i think that's his name uh you know you on some bullshit my niggas think you on bullshit Do -do -do -do. boom cut you off and let me be gangster gangster crib crib so um yeah um I'm going to see if they got more videos or whatever. I might react to their live or whatever. I already seen, like, a snippet of it, so I might not because it really ain't nothing. But um, stay tuned for the boxing match, I guess. You know, there's more more things for me to react to, y'all. Um, and, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.